Hey, you mentioned, um, you know, in, in terms of the challenge of, of booking and being on camera, one of the other challenges that that's dusty's challenge, but Dustin's challenge is he's the booker's son yeah. and boy, that, that can be tricky at times. W- what was your perception of the way Dustin handled that with the rest of the boys and just behind the scenes? I mean, I'm sure. You know, a lot of people have to be hitting him with the side eye, wondering, oh, what's this? Is is he gonna the way Dusty booked himself, people had to assume he's gonna do that for Dustin too, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. Dustin took it well. Uh he took it well. He he was he didn't seem like he used his daddy being the booker as a as a strength. No. He was pretty quiet, quite frankly. Uh he's I'll say this, uh, one of the great joys of going to work at AEW is seeing Dustin because he's always got something to add contributes and, uh, but it didn't start out that way. Started out with, <clears throat> started out with the old wrestler adage, keep your mouth shut and listen. And that's kind of what he did. Still a very young man in his very early twenties, and he's going to find himself, uh, a television star, and he's going to be feuding with the York foundation led of course, by miss Alexandra York. And we know eventually Alexandra York became Mrs. Dustin Runnels. Uh, the real life, uh, Carrie Boatwright had been a makeup artist at CNN before this, and this relationship between Terry and Dustin is going to become a thing. And I don't think dusty was necessarily a big fan of that. I know they had a falling out. And I think a lot of that was around Dustin's relationship and they went a few years without speaking. And of course they all patched everything up and everything's good to go now. But do you remember what the impasse, I mean, how that divided the family or was it the talk of the locker room or just tell me about Dustin and, and Terry getting together and how it affected dusty <clears throat> and, and WCW. Well, we didn't work in an an uh, information friendly business like it is now, you know, uh, uh, you and I can have a conversation like this, like this morning as we are recording. And, uh, if somebody in our audience wants to tweet out, Hey, this is what JR said. This is what Conrad said, whatever, uh, they can because they have the vehicle to carry that message on social media. Didn't have that back in those days. So you didn't hear a lot about somebody's relationship. I just know, and Dusty didn't really share it with me, but, uh, I could tell he was, he, he may have, he may have thought that Dustin, uh, underachieved in that wedding thing. Here's what I think. I think it was a matter that Dusty's old school. He's experienced it. Life on the road is tough for married people. Mm. Really, really tough. For, still is. And, uh, especially if you got, both of you are in our, our talents, everybody wants the, the spot. You, you take the spot over your wife or your husband. So, and that's crazy. So in any event, that's how I looked at it. I thought that, that you know, and I, and that really wasn't fair for Terry and it really wasn't fair for Dustin. No. D- Dusty was just used to being that alpha male and in control. And he's, he's trying to play catch up with his son. But it's like you said, they, they were, uh, part, they were separated for years. I think it's, I saw somewhere where they were, they didn't talk for five years or something. Isn't that crazy? Yes. So, and it's sad. It's a shame. Yeah. You'd like to get some of those five years back now. Right. So, uh, anyhow, I'm uh, sure if dusty were here, he'd say the same thing, you know, like, yeah, he should have backed up. He should have backed off. Let them live their life. Let them have their relationship. Get married if you want to. Have kids if you want to, and and not try to dictate that. So, uh, I'm, I I I think it was all about the relationship, and 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 unfairly so, I should add. In the fall of 1991, uh, Dustin is going to form a tag team with Barry Windham, and those cats are going to get a title shot at Clash 17 in November against Arn Anderson and Larry Zabisco. But Wyndham found himself injured prior to the event. So a returning Ricky Steamboat takes Wyndham's spot, and this new makeshift duo become the tag team champions. And Dustin said in his book, this wasn't the planned finish. 
With about 10 minutes left in the match, I was blown sky high, he wrote. We switched the planned finish over the last few minutes because I had freaked out. That was the first time I had ever gone beyond 25 or 30 minutes in a match, and I was blown out by all the work. These guys were looking at one another, tagging in and out, saying, what's wrong with this guy? What's going on? They would look at me and say, just breathe, take a breath. Then I'd scream back. I can't, I can't breathe. Oh my God. <laughs> it felt like I was being suffocated. Finally, somebody said, just do something. That's when I rolled over and tagged Ricky. At that point, I know what they were thinking. Now, what are we going to do? We've built the hell up out of a match and Dustin just screwed up the whole thing. They had to improvise and let us win at that point because we had the entire crowd on their feet. They were ready for us to win the title and we couldn't let them down. When the match ended and we all got behind the curtain, the guys said, what happened to you, man? They weren't upset or anything like that. We had a really good match, which was all they cared about. Ending it in the way they did was probably the best outcome possible for the fans. How often does this happen? Do you think where something happens in the ring, they call an audible and the finish for a title match changes, Jim. Uh, more than you think, especially back in the day where separate locker rooms limited the communication between the opponents. Uh, nowadays in most arenas, you can, uh, find your little quiet spot back in the locker room area and sit down with your adversary and figure out what you're going to do to produce the best product that's available. Didn't have that back then. So a lot of stuff was called on the fly, which I still, uh, condone it's a way to do it. Listen to the audience. They'll tell you what they're buying. Yes, Sell so them what they are buying. That's simple. And, uh, I think teaming with Ricky was probably a, first of all, Ricky's not going to blow Ricky Steamboat's not going to blow up. Uh, at least I've never seen it. I'm sure he has in his life, but I was, I didn't see it in my experiences with Ricky Steamboat. He's always like a racehorse. And, uh, uh, I think Ricky's a uh, guide was Ricky was a smart guy. He, he understood, uh, the kid was in a curious position as it relates to the perception of the locker room. Yes. Cause he was Dusty's son. So Ricky got it. And I think Ricky was a valuable asset in helping, uh, the, the, uh, advancement and the growth of, of Dustin Rhodes. I, I really do. So, and what better teacher, what better guy, you know, it's a good dude. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson here to tell you a little more about what adfreeshows.com is all about. Get early ad-free access to more than a dozen of your favorite wrestling podcasts every single week, starting at just nine bucks. That's less than 20 cents an episode each month. And yes, you can listen to them all directly through Apple podcasts or your regular podcast apps. How easy is that? Ad-free shows also has thousands of hours worth of bonus content and docu-series like title chase, Eric fires back conversations with Conrad and the insiders plus new series like the book with David Crockett, Monday mailbags with Mike Kyoto and Nick Patrick and a whole lot more. And you want to talk about early. You can't get any earlier than listening to the shows live. You can be a part of the live studio audience as we record the podcast. Plus ride shotgun alongside your favorite childhood heroes for live watch alongs, Q and A's and other interactive experiences every single month. Come on now, see for yourself what thousands of other wrestling fans from around the world have discovered that adfreeshows.com is the best value in wrestling. Check it out today. And Hey, when you do the first week is completely free Adfreeshows.com. free shows.com.